If you're looking to buy a fitness tracker to help you to lose weight or continue on that fitness journey, then here are my top five under 300 right now. I'll cover the price and features that you need to know and stay to the end of the video as I'll give you some advice that will help you decide which one's right for you. Now still one of my favorites retailing $129.99 in the UK and $149.95 in the US is the Fitbit Charge 5. Gone is the old dated black and white display of the previous Charge 4 and instead you are now greeted with a new color screen that's easy to read in outdoor sunny conditions. You also get a stainless steel case, an ECG app which will notify you of any high, low or irregular heart rate rhythms built-in GPS so you can leave your phone at home and still track the distance you have traveled, a seven day battery life, automatic exercise tracking, it tracks your floors climbed, there's Fitbit Pay, it's water resistant up to 50 meters, so it's suitable for swimming, showering, and even running in the rain. It has an always on display mode, a six month membership of Fitbit Premium is also included along with a lot more features. And at this price point and all the other fitness trackers that I'm about to mention, you will still be able to track your heart rate, sleep, calories burned, and step tracking is included as standard. All the prices I mentioned are the official retail prices, so please use the link below to check out the latest offers and prices, as there's some great deals to be found. For me, the Charge 5 is for someone that wants a lot of features for a small price. Yes, the display size is small, but at least it's now in color and it will still cover all the stats you need without breaking the bank. Before I move on, if you do feel I've missed out a fitness tracker that you would recommend and you would feel it would benefit our community, then please let me know in the comments below along with your reasons why, as it might just help someone out. Next, we have the brand new Venue SQ2 Music Edition. This is from Garmin and it retails for $259.99 in the UK and $299.99 in the US. The Music Edition allows you to download Spotify, Deezer or Amazon Music playlists up to 500 songs. If you do want to save yourself some money and you're not interested in music on your watch, then you may want to check out the standard Venue SQ instead. Now with most Garmin devices, battery is king and the Venue SQ2 Music Edition is no exception. It comes with 11 day battery life, has Gorilla Glass 3 protective lens, a display resolution of 320 by 360 pixels, there's 25 built-in sports modes, built-in GPS, Garmin Coach running training plans, Garmin Pay, a bright AMOLED display, a pulse ox sensor, preloaded workouts, an always-on option, it's swim-proof up to 50 meters, there's mindful breathing and more. Unlike the Charge 5, there is no ECG app built-in, but with the Venue 2, you get the smartwatch experience with a larger, bright AMOLED display. Plus, the amount of fitness features as standard really is impressive. Now this one's for all you Apple users out there, so if you are an Android user, then please skip ahead to the next one, as this one's not for you. The Apple Watch Ultra is Apple's new flagship model with its super bright display and a 36 hour battery life. But that one costs quite a bit of money, and as we're covering watches under the 300 mark, then you should definitely not discount the SE edition, especially if you're after a fitness tracker just for fitness. It's still one of the best looking fitness trackers on the market with endless options to customize it. Well, for a price anyway. Starting at 259 in the UK and 249 in the US is the new SE edition. It now features a faster dual core processor, it's swim proof up to 50 meters, has a three month free trial of Apple Fitness included, there's high, low and irregular heart rate rhythm notifications, there's a mindfulness app, crash detection, family setup, Apple Wallet, Siri voice assistant, maps and thousands of apps that you can find on the Apple store. On the SE edition, you will miss out on that larger screen and the ECG app compared to the Series 8. But for me, these aren't essential as you can still track all your fitness stats and have a great looking fitness tracker as long as you don't mind charging it every day. Personally, I like the Nike edition with its exclusive band and clock faces. Let me know in the comments below, does the SE have all the features that you do need or would you need to upgrade to the Ultra? Now back with Fitbit is the new Sense 2. It retails at $269.99 in the UK and $299.95 in the US. Gone this time around is the Google Voice Assistant and no longer do you have the stainless steel build quality that you did with the previous Sense. 
However, it's still Fitbit's best advice if you focus not just on fitness, but your health as well. If you do want to save yourself some money and you don't need all the extra health features, then go with the Versa 4 as they look identical and perform exactly the same. Over the Versa 4 though, the Sense 2 also comes with an ECG app to assess your heart's rhythm, a skin temperature sensor to understand your potential changes in your wellness, an EDA scanner for stress management. Google Maps and Google Wallet are coming soon, they just won't be available at launch. The Alexa Assistant is still built in, along with GPS and a 6 plus day battery life. There's also fast charging, so you can get a day's worth of battery in just 12 minutes of charge. It's water resistant, up to 50 meters, has automatic exercise tracking, and there's a six month membership of Fitbit Premium included. Again, if you want to know if Fitbit Premium is worth it, then check out my video up there as I do a comparison against the free version and the premium version. So the extra money you are paying for the Sense 2 over, say, the Charge 5 that I've already mentioned is the fact that you get those extra health features and the ability to make phone calls directly on your wrist. Just under the 300 mark in the UK is the Garmin Instinct 2, which retails for $299.99 in the UK and $349.99 in the US for the 40mm or 45mm option. Trust me, the standard version of the Instinct 2 has more than enough features to keep you going. If you do want to pay more, you'll have the option of exclusive colours, solar charging or exclusive features for a dedicated sport or profession such as surfing. Check out my video up there if you do want to see a detailed breakdown between each Instinct 2 version. Now the Instinct 2 is a serious fitness watch that is packed with features. In smartwatch mode, you get a whopping 28 day battery life. So as you can see, if you do want to pay extra for solar charging, it really isn't needed for most of us with a battery life of 28 days. On the Instinct 2, there's so many sports that you can track. There's HIIT workouts, VO2 max, daily suggested workouts, recovery time, NTB Dynamics, which tracks your details of every ride with mountain biking metrics. There's running power, heart rate, stress, pulse ox, and advanced sleep monitoring, women's health tracking, and more. The Instinct 2 does miss out on those bright AMOLED displays and the ECG apps. This watch is purely designed for fitness. So which one should you choose? If you're looking for a fitness tracker to help you to lose weight, then all these watches that I have mentioned will have you covered, as they all track your steps, heart rate, sleep, and calories burned, just at different price points. You'll be paying for the look and style of each of the watches and any extra features that you may need in the future. Otherwise, any of the watches I have mentioned will keep you covered, whether you're just starting out on your fitness journey. Otherwise, any of the fitness watches that I have mentioned will keep you covered, whether you're just starting out or you are continuing on your fitness journey. Now, if these fitness watches aren't for you and you just want a Garmin, then please feel free to check out my video up there to see a detailed breakdown between each device in each price category. Thanks for watching.